And a man is in custody after leading police on this high-speed pursuit in excess of 120 miles an hour on the 5 freeway. 30 minutes later, he bailed out of the car. As you can see, police chased him, but not for long. He was eventually caught. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Colleen Williams. And I'm Chuck Henry. One of the interesting things here, the suspect had been stopped earlier for speeding, and that traffic ticket would, of course, been much less than what he now faces. NBC 4's John Kaddish Klimek is live in North Hollywood, where that pursuit ended. John. Chuck, this chase lasted for about 30 miles, went up to about 120 miles an hour. And how do we know this? Well, according to CHP, that's how fast they had to go just to keep up with this guy. News Chopper 4 got the action from above. Oh, tight squeeze in between two cars. Tight squeeze. Yeah, that's the way the chase looked for the majority of it. That driver taking quite a bit of liberty with the lives of others on the road as he made his way all the way from Smoky Bear Road in the Grapevine to North Hollywood. Why was he running? Well, we're not exactly sure. CHP said they just wanted to stop him for going 92 in a 65. When finally pulled off the freeway, it was into the parking garage at Oakwood Secondary School, where from the chopper we saw him actually calmly walk away and then toss a bright blue shirt into the bushes. He eventually ended up across the street at the school's office area before a canine unit went in and made the arrest. We heard from a gardener working to remove some ivy around the school who told police what he witnessed. Just one guy running, that's it. You saw him running? Uh, I guess. Was he running into the school? Uh, I don't know. I don't see it. He got away from me when I got stuck in traffic because I couldn't drive as recklessly as he was. Um, so that's where he got away from me and I lost sight of him and had to discontinue my pursuit. Luckily, nobody was hurt in this. And for all those close calls, no reports that he actually hit anyone. Once the car was abandoned here, CHP officers approached it with their guns drawn because they weren't 100% sure the driver was alone at that point. Eventually, the car was towed as evidence, but CHP tells us it does not appear to have been stolen. The suspect, as we speak, is being questioned at the CHP office in Newhall. Reporting live in North Hollywood, I'm John Caddy's Clean Mac, NBC4 News.